I can't believe we're getting a Battle of Alberta in the playoffs in my lifetime here. This is insane. And honestly, this is going to be the best series of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Look, the Flames just went through a series where they gutted it out against a team that tried everything in their power with a star goaltender to make it a boring, low-scoring, high-checking series. This one here is going to be high-flying. It's going to be dirty. It's going to be emotional. The fans are going to be fighting in the crowd. Uh, Mike Smith, the former Calgary Flame, who has some ill will, some bad feelings towards the Flames, is going to be fiery and looking to get revenge on his former team. Connor McDavid and Drysaddle both hate Calgary and the Flames. They've mentioned that many times before. Uh, Johnny Gaudreau wants to beat the Oilers. Markstrom. Lots of guys on the Flames have just been dummied and embarrassed by number 97 and number 29 time and time again. And they want to show that, hey, yeah, we got scored on a lot by Connor and by Leon, but we're the better team. And <laughs> this is just perfect. Not even a trip to pass the first round, but a trip to the Western Conference Final on the line. The first Battle of Alberta since the 90s. It doesn't get any better than this. Like, you cannot ask for a better matchup. Both fan bases are going to go crazy. You're going to see a ton of Calgary fans in Edmonton at Rogers Place. You're going to see a ton of Edmonton fans at the Saddle Dome in the Red Lot and in the viewing party in Edmonton. It's just going to be a riot. It's going to be chaos here. And I can't wait. This is going to be the best TV of the whole playoffs. Rogers, Sportsnet, the money's going to be through the roof here. The Leafs didn't make it past the first round again, so this is all you got. The big money's going to be in this Battle of Alberta, and it guarantees a Canadian team in round three, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But as far as who wins, I'll try to make this quick. In net, whew, yes, on paper, Jacob Markstrom is the advantage. He's the better goaltender than Mike Smith. However, Mike Smith can go on these runs, especially against a team that he has something against, like the Flames, where he is just unstoppable. Is he going to be Ottinger level? I don't think so. But he doesn't need to be because it's, it's not Pavelski, Robertson, and Jamie Benn anymore. Now it's McDavid, it's Dreisaitl, it's Evander Kane. So it's much bigger trouble and they can offer more run support. And as far as Edmonton goes, uh, they just went through a Jonathan Quick who looked like the Jonathan Quick of old. Okay, he looked like what he was when he was winning cups. He was pretty good, okay? Markstrom's on that level. I still give the advantage to Calgary in net just because of what Markstrom is versus what Smith is, but that could flip in a hurry. On the back end, it should be the Flames, and I know there's significant injuries. We'll see what happens with Sidorov. I know he went in hard against Dallas in Game 7, and Tanev is still hurt. That remains to be seen, but I still give the edge on D to Calgary. That being said, guys like Bouchard with the Bouch bombs, Duncan Keith, who's won cups before, this is where he thrives, Darnell, Darnell Nurse, who has a mean streak, okay? If you take off Darnell Nurse, good luck, man. And he does not like the Flames, okay? That's a good player. Cody Ceci out of nowhere is playing good hockey. Tyson Berry is very offensively skilled and helps quarterback that power play for the Edmonton Oilers. It's scary back there on defense. Um, they are steady in Calgary, but they're looking shaky, honestly. They're looking shakier than they did in the past, especially in the regular season. Guys like Hannafin and Shillington are looking nervous. Mark, St or not Mark Stone, Michael Stone, sorry. He looks like Eric Carlson. He's turned into a full-fledged offensive defenseman, basically. Um, and They're still good, but you know what? On D, I never thought I'd be saying this. I'm a Flames fan, especially. I never thought I'd be saying this. Edge, Edmonton. And this is weird to me to say, and again, this is one where it could flip in a hurry, but that's part of the reason why this series is going to be so great. I think it's going to be high scoring, and that leads me to the next part. It's the offense. Now, if you're in Edmonton the past few years, what's the narrative been? Oh, Connor and Leon can score, but there's nothing after that. Guess what? Now there's stuff after those two. Evander Kane has been a monster, and he will continue to be a monster. Nuge, Yamamoto's waking up, okay? These are guys that can offer secondary scoring. Even guys like Derek Ryan can wake up out of nowhere against his former team, be juiced, be motivated, and ready to give a good playoff performance in the Battle of Alberta. I'm scared of that Edmonton Oilers forward group. 
past 97 and 29. Even if you shut those two down, guys like Evander Kane, like Nugent Hopkins, who you know have a hatred for Calgary and get up for these games, I'm scared of that. That being said, I actually give the advantage up front to the Flames, and I know that that sounds crazy. It sounds asinine. Okay, with what I've been saying here, I just think they're deeper. I think Kachuk, Lindholm, Gaudreau have been great, especially Johnny Hockey, who's woken up as a playoff performer here. Backland has been incredible. Okay, and Coleman, Manjapani, Toffoli, Yarncrook, these are guys who can wake up. Guys like Toffoli can really, really get up. Don't forget Mr. Lucic, okay? He can provide a couple of good goals up there. Uh, Blake Coleman, who's won cups, okay, with the Tampa Bay Lightning and provided offense, 20 goal scorer. These are guys who can score. They just need to wake up. Cali Yarncroke, okay, people forget when he was in Nashville, he had a pretty slick shot, okay, and some offensive touch. So this is something to watch out for, and that's why despite 97 and 29 being on the other side and number 91 now in Edmonton, I give the edge to the Flames up front. Now, as far as who I think is going to win the whole thing, I could not tell you. I really, really could not. And that's why it's going to be so fun. It's going to be up and down. I think it's going to be a long series. I think it's going to go six or seven. There might be some blowouts in there because they're going to be high scoring games. But I think overall, this series is going to be close. It's going to be fun. Let me know who you guys think in the comments down below is going to win. I want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.